We have here the Polygon Helios A9X in a size large, weighing at 17 pounds, 13 ounces, and in kilos, 8.08 kgs, that is with pedals and also the integrated mount here. Stay tuned for after the video, we'll hear a free up and sound test on these Entity 50 millimeter deep dish wheels right here. This bicycle right here is such a breath of fresh air. This is one of the best price point bikes I've ever seen in a very, very long time. And uh, it is a very aggressive price point for the market. This is the Polygon Helios A9X, and this is their top tier performance aero road bike. And uh, Bikes Online is going to be selling this bicycle. Uh, this bicycle comes with a full on Durace 9200. This is a 12 speed electron group set. This is the most current Durace model they offer on the bicycle. It gives you a insane Vision Metron 5D carbon fiber bar and stem combination, which is like a very premium bar set. It compares out there to NV one piece bar and stem, the Pinarello Most one piece bar and stem, the Roval one piece bar and stem. I mean, this is a really top tier bar that I've installed on a lot of high end bicycles and they throw this in there on this bicycle as well. And the reason why it's an absolute insane deal, I mean, yes, granted it's still $6,000, but would you sit there and you go ahead and you mark off and you check what this company is giving you for that? It's adding up to everything what is retail. A full Shimano Durace 12 speed group set is about $4,200 USD. This Vision one piece bar and stem combo, if you want to buy as retail inside of a store, is $680. You have a carbon fiber 50 millimeter wheel set. So these are Entity, these are their own uh, wheel brand. I believe it's a company made off of Polygon. But this is still a carbon fiber uh, wheel set on here at 50 millimeter deep dish and their own hubs. Uh, so you got to give or take about 900 bucks, I would assume, for these things. And then you have the frame. The frame itself, which, I mean, at first, when the first glance, I kind of thought it looked a little bit like a Yolio, like the R11 uh, bicycle. But now that I looked into it, and the more and more I've seen it in person, they did a really good job with this frame set. They have nice deep sections for the front head tube to kind of give it aero qualities. You have these kind of airfoil shaped tubes for the front fork. You can fit up to a max tire size of 32C as well. Going down to the bottom rack area, you have a nice reinforced kind of aero bottom bracket as well. Nice bunch of carbon there to add to that aerodynamics. It is a press fit on there, but they have just a normal Shimano Durace press fit bottom bracket on there. Nice tucked away rear wheel. And then they have the D-shaped shape seat post as well. The paint job on here is absolutely beautiful. As you guys can see, whenever the sun hits it, it has this kind of like this bass boat glitter to it, which is beautiful. Looks very kind of low maintenance in the sun, but as soon as that thing gets hit by the sun, it like pops in color, which is great. But I mean, again, we go through the whole checklist, talk about components alone without the Polygon name. Dury's 4,200 bucks, Vision 660 bucks, uh, wheels, tires, tubes. That leaves a frame to be pretty much around $800 USD, which is insane. So working with bikes online, they went ahead and sent me out this bicycle to try, do a series of tests on it, do a whole walk around, talk about this bicycle as well. But then I get some time to ride this bike, put some miles on, figure out where this bicycle frame stands. Is it just uh, a group set on a bicycle or does this frame actually hold up to the test? They do have the UCI stamp of approval on there. They went out to the testing. They got the badge in there as well, which is always nice. But this bicycle being direct consumer definitely fits in at that Canyon price tag, at that factor price tag. But we all know that those Canyon and those factors are tried and true. They're in the Grand Tour. They're being used by pros now today. So now what I want to know is how this bike feels and how this bike performs. So um, if you guys are interested, I will be having a whole video series on here and, and big shout out to Bikes Online for, for me getting ahead, going ahead and doing this deal. Uh, I look all the time for competitive bike prices for you guys. I know I sell special on Scott, but I always like to show off of uh, affordable, aggressive price point bikes for consumers like you guys. So again, big shout out to them for letting me go ahead and ride this bike for a while. Uh, I did get to pedal around the block for a little bit. Like I said, I'll have a really in-depth video uh, in terms of ride review later on down the road. Um, and I already had some kind of, a little bit of things with the rear wheel. It's a four paw system. There was some lateral play back and forth on this wheel set, but that will go on later on once we figure out miles and how long it lasts. But in terms of the geometry, the fit, the actual overall first impressions and quality of the bicycle, uh, it has performed amazingly. Straight out of the box, very easy to assemble, a four piece setup. Front wheel goes on, rear wheel goes on. I didn't adjust the gears at all. I didn't adjust the brakes at all. There were no rubbing. The handlebar and bar tape and shifters were already installed, just put to the side. And then all I had to do was just insert the seat post with the integrated seat wedge on there. Even in terms of quality, again, when I talk about the company, 
the seat post is literally inside of the, the, the battery for the DI2 is inside the seat post and held together by two screws, which that's the most secure fastening for a Shimano battery I've ever seen by a bicycle. So kudos to them as well. Uh, they look like they went above and beyond here. So it's a, it's a very, very nice bicycle. Um, a little bit about Bikes Online and what they offer for this bicycle, if you guys are wondering. Bikes Online, they have an online e-commerce marketplace where you can buy a bicycle directly to your doorstep. They offer a five-year manufacturer warranty on the frame itself of the bicycle, and then also the manufacturer warranty for all the components like the group set, the, the wheels, and also the handlebars. So whatever these Shimano Vision offer for that, they will follow suit for that as well. Um, they do have a crash replacement program as well. If you have any issue with the frame for a crash replacement, I believe it's 30% off. And then if you have a complete bicycle where it's a complete loss, they have a 10% off for a crash replacement as well. Uh, shipping to your doorstep is about two to six days, depending on where you're at. And it is a $75 shipping charge for the bicycle. So they do also, the cool thing about this bike is that, yes, like I said, this is $6,000. I'm not expecting everyone to rush to the computer as soon as this video drops and go ahead and drop six grand on a bike. But this is a, like I said, if you're a, com a component whore and you only think about components, which I have a lot of com customers who do come into the, into the store and they only look at a bicycle for what the components are, this will be the best bike I've ever seen in terms of price point for components. Um, but if you also didn't want to spend six grand, they also have an Altegra Di2 12 speed with the same wheels and same cockpit and same frame material for $4,600. And they also have a 105 Di2 model with the exact same frame, different bar, same wheels. Uh, I don't know the exact price in that one, but even cheaper than that. I believe it's like 4,000 exactly. So that is a cool thing about these polygon frames is that they're the exact same carbon layup as the top tier as they are the bottom tier. So you can get, so whatever ride quality you're looking for, you can expect it all the way through throughout the line. Um, but yeah, I mean, like I said, just to give you guys an example for different bicycle companies as well, comparison, when I looked at Canyon, the closest Canyon I could see in price point was the Canyon Aero Road for $6,000 with Altegra Di2. Yes, they have DT Swiss wheels in there. Canyon has also been on the Grand Tour, but you're getting a full component grade step up at this price point. Uh, Canyon's Durace bikes will start at eight grand, where this bike starts at six grand. Giant, uh, Giant Propel with Altegra Di2 on there is going to be 8,000. Specialized Tarmac Pro is going to be 8,500 with Altegra Di2. And then also you have the um, Trek Imanda SLR7 or SL7. Uh, that bike is also going to be around $8,000. So again, strictly based off components, handlebar, everything that. I mean, even if you wanted to, you're like, hey, I want to buy a frame somewhere else if you want to buy a frame from another company and you want to buy this literally you could buy this bicycle as like a build spec for this thing it's it's a crazy good value so i'm very excited to see how this frame performs i'm very excited to see how these wheels perform i already know how the shimano Doris performs i already know how this vision bar performs i've ridden on them before test riding them what we have to figure out now is how this company performs how polygon how the wheels stand up to to over time so very excited to it big shout out to bikes online as well and we'll figure this out. So if you guys are interested in this bike, I'll have a link down below where you can go ahead and pick one up. And then also, like I said before, if you have any questions about Polygon, I'm always here to help, but they look like they have a really nice bike on here. So thank you guys again so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.